So first of all, y'all, please don't butcher me for this because I can't give you any information on this wig for the simple fact that it is one that my mother gave to me. But I can say that it is a, a kinky straight lace wig and that's all I know. So I'm really sorry, but you can do this with any kinky straight weave wig or even blown out natural hair so that's how I'm kind of making it up so I'm only using two products Eco Styler Gel and my Argon Oil Leave-In Conditioner um, it's a wig so it doesn't need to be super moisturized so we're just gonna go with that um, I have not done flexi rods in at least two years so you'll see me struggle until I kind of figure out my system here um, but as you can see it does turn out pretty well so Spray the leave-in conditioner on the whole length of the hair. Take Eco Solid Gel, rub it in. Um, the flexi rods that I have, I got from Walmart, y'all. So you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on flexi rods. Uh, the first time I did this, I very clearly did it the wrong way. I started from the top down, but I do change that and start going from the bottom up again. I haven't done these in a long time. Bear with me. I'm kind of learning all over again. So I put that sucker in, I'm like, oh, I think that's right, uh, I guess, whatever. So moving on. So basically I put the wig on my head so that I could do the first half on. That way I can see how the curls are gonna lay, making sure that they're in the position that I want for like my little teeny tiny midget head. Uh, so after <laughs> I get each of the flexi rods put in for the top part of my head, I'm gonna take it off. That way I can see the back in do it that way, if that makes sense. This flexi rod clearly was a lot better and the rest of them I'm gonna do it that way. I'm gonna speed ahead because I literally do the same thing over my whole entire head and I don't wanna bore you guys to death. So from the bottom up and twirl, and go, and twirl, and go. All right, let's just skip ahead. So I do put this on my styrofoam head and I have one of those desk clip things that I got off Amazon. Mine's kind of crappy, I need a different one. But I'm literally doing the same exact thing. I'm not gonna keep explaining it to you guys over and over and over again. But spray it, gel it, roll it. That is it. So this is my finished product. I really love this wig, it's freaking amazing. And this came out so much better than I was expecting. What you guys see me using here is called a wig grip. If you don't know what it is, you need to. I'll talk about this later in another video, but it's my freaking favorite. P.S. I did leave these flexi rods on this wig for about a week and a half. Yeah, just didn't get to it, so I'm not gonna pretend that they were only in for an hour. Just make sure that your flexi rods are completely dry. These obviously are gonna be dry. <laughs> So I'm going to take them out and kind of take a look at what I have going on and I will admit I was a little nervous I was looking at these things like oh crap. What did I just do? This is gonna be awful But I'm trying to like make myself like it Little do I know It's gonna turn out to be heavenly. I'm definitely looking like Shirley Temple. That's why I was so concerned <laughs> But I'm gonna start combing these out. Um, I am gonna grab my organics argon oil to help a little bit um, these braids, braids, huh, these flexi rods were a little crispy. They did flake a little bit on me, but whatever, it's a wig, I didn't really care. And I comb this out with my fingers a lot because I love frizzy hair. And I won't say frizzy, but I don't like super duper defined hair. I've mentioned that in plenty of videos. But basically what's going to happen, I'm going to get these all worked out, get it laying how I want it, and I'm going to play with it to, <laughs> to see um, like how I want it to lay, what I want to do. After that, um, I get my, what is this, one and only molding cream. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw my post way back when where I told you to throw away your edge control and buy this. That still stands. You can get it at Sally's. It's freaking amazing. I always use it on wigs and where my hair is straight. Yes, I spit on my brush. Don't judge me. It's my hair. It's my skin. Whatever. <laughs> So after I get everything the way I want it, I'm obviously gonna play with it and get it to my liking. And guys, look at this thing. Look at this, look at those curls. <sighs> I was so freaking happy. So you know, once I got done, I had to hit y'all with the selfies. It had to happen. It was inevitable. So I'm gonna give a little face by the end of this video, but I really hope that you guys like this look. 
and try to recreate it. If you do, please tag me in any pictures that you take on Instagram or Twitter. So celebrate pretty hair. Boom. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.